Okay, now look under the doc section. Okay, look for Photoshop. Okay, click onto the icon that shows PS, that blue icon. Okay, now, okay, you are going to start painting on your canvas. So you need a canvas. So click File, click New to open a canvas. Okay, under Preset, it should be International Paper. Okay, under Size, we are working on A4. Okay, and do not touch the width or the height. Leave it. And the only thing you change change is the resolution. Okay, it should be at 300 pixels per inch. Okay, so now click OK. Okay, we are going to work on landscape today. So I want you to change this portrait canvas to landscape. So click on image. Under image, rotate canvas. And click 90 degrees clockwise to rotate the canvas. Okay, yay, there you go. You got your canvas. Okay, so now the first tool we are going to learn today is the move tool, the move or the select tool. Okay, so let's open your file first. Okay, open your picture first. Click on file, open. Okay, where's your picture? Yeah, click on your picture and click open. Okay, now you are going to put your picture and paste it on your canvas. Okay, so click onto the move tool. Okay, click onto your picture and drag it into your canvas. Click and drag. Okay, now. Okay, there you go. Okay, close your picture. Okay, yes, you're going to work on your canvas. So, click, you can move your picture on your canvas with the move tool to the area that you want. Okay, if you do not want the border, you can actually crop it away. So the next tool that you're going to learn is the crop tool. Okay, this is the crop tool. Okay, click on the icon. Okay, crop the area that you want your picture to be. Okay, let's say here. Okay, now press enter. Alright. You have got your picture now. Okay, your picture is ready. Okay, so the next step we are going to do is um, using the rulers to guide you. Okay. Okay, click onto the move tool. Back to move tool. That's the main basic tool. Okay, so for the rulers now, okay, click onto the rulers to draw your guideline on where you want to cut your picture. So click on rulers and drag it. Okay. And then drag it to the point that you want to cut. And drag it. Okay. Now, okay, if you think it's difficult to see your picture because it's very small, you may actually change the percentage on the bottom left of your picture. Okay, maybe let's say, let's try to change to 20% and click enter. Okay. Now you got a clearer view of your picture. Okay, now, the third tool you are going to be introduced is the marquee tool. Okay, click on the marquee tool. Okay, make sure it is the regular marquee tool. Okay, select. And then now, you are going to cut your picture. Okay, so click onto the marquee tool and then cut the area that you want. Okay, yes, this is the first layer that you're going to cut. Okay, so right click. Let's cut it out like a scissors and paper. Okay, so you click under layer via cut. Okay, select. Okay, there you go. Okay. On your right, you can see there's a layer bar. Okay, these are your layers. Okay, so there is an icon which is the eye. Okay, you can click on the eye or unclick on the eye and you can see that's the layer that you have cut, which is a new layer, like you are cutting a piece of paper. Okay, so you want to cut on the original. You have to always cut on the original piece first. Okay, click 
on the original piece okay and you are in you should be in a marquee mode again to cut your paper okay now cut the second area that you want to cut all right okay so right click click on layer via cut okay now you have cut another piece okay same thing same procedure again that you're going to repeat okay now you're going to click back onto your main layer your main picture okay and click your marquee tool make sure you're at marquee tool and cut the the third or the fourth area that you want to cut okay the third layer that you're going to cut okay so right click click layer via cut <coughs> and then okay now you have your layers there okay so same thing again click onto your main picture okay marquee tool and then cut the fourth layer okay select right click layer via cut okay you're going to repeat that until all the pieces are cut okay main picture again okay okay done okay the last piece okay okay we are done okay so now we are going to move it okay click back of course move go back to the move to okay the move button click onto your move button okay make sure it's on auto select mode okay if it's untick please check the box okay now you're on auto select mode okay now you have you know that you have many layers there is all cut out okay so you can just click on the layers you know you have cut the layers so you just click on the layers and you can just move whichever way that you want them to be okay how convenient isn't it okay think about your composition think about how how your creative comp composition is going to be And of course, if you want more layers, like maybe if you want to cut smaller strips, you can do that using your guide of the ruler. Okay, it's, if it's difficult to see the guides, okay, you can actually clear away the guides. Okay, so under view, okay, scroll down, click clear guides. Okay, there you go.